There is a scientific consensus that fish are intelligent and have distinct individual personalities. Some of them can use tools and have sophisticated memories. They are sensitive, curious, insightful, and especially they feel pain just like mammals. They care about their lives as we care about ours, want to avoid suffering just as we do. The same applies to cephalopods and crustaceans. We should not make moral differences between terrestrial animals and aquatic animals. We have no more right to slaughter them for food than we have the right to slaughter dogs, cats, or other sentient beings and humans. They are killed by the billions in ways that would be illegal were they part of any other species. Massive trawling nets capture hundreds of tons of animals as they are dragged along the ocean floor. When they are hauled onto the ships, the animals suffer from decompression, are suffocated or crushed under the massive weight of all the other bodies. Non-target aquatic animals, or what the fishing industry calls bycatch, are all routinely snared by hooks and entangled in nets. Their bodies dumped back into the ocean. Scientists are sounding the alarm about the tragic state of the world's oceans. If we continue fishing, thousands of billions of sentient individuals will have been massacred. Aquaculture or underwater farming is also horribly abusive to animals. Fishes are forced to swim in their own waste in congested toxic cesspools. Disease is rampant. Conditions on some farms are so horrendous that 40% of the fish die before farmers are ready to kill and package them as food. The same goes for the conditions in which crustaceans are bred and held captive. Paul McCartney correctly states, whether the flesh comes from an animal with four legs, two legs, or no legs, all meat is truly red meat. Because their farming and slaughtering conditions cause them to suffer, because eating meat isn't necessary, because sentient beings shouldn't be mistreated or killed unnecessarily, farming, fishing, and hunting animals for their flesh as well as selling and eating animal flesh should be abolished. Fish, cephalopods, and crustaceans are absolutely unprotected. Fishing and aquaculture farms make thousands of billions of victims each year. They concern almost 97% of the animals killed for their flesh. From an ethical point of view, we must work to ban fisheries and aquaculture farms. Join the campaign and participate in the World Day for the End of Fishing. Take part for a better world.